When peeling the shell, leave the tail shell on. However, if you fry it as is, it will cause the oil to splatter. How to prevent oil from splashing will be explained later. Remove the veins. Rather than using a bamboo skewer, it is easier to make a cut in the back with a knife and remove it. By mixing potato starch and shrimp well, the potato starch absorbs the odor and dirt from the shrimp. After mixing well, rinse with water. Wipe off water thoroughly. I will explain why the oil splatter when frying shrimp. The first is the pointed part on the tail. Cut the pointed part of the tail and the tips of the fins. The second is moisture and dye left inside shrimp tails. Thread the shrimp fins with a knife like this. By performing this treatment, you can remove the moisture and dye remaining inside the shrimp tail. These two processes not only prevent oil from splashing when fried, but also improve the appearance after frying. Make 4 to 5 cuts in the part where the legs were attached. Next, with the shrimp spark facing up, pick the shrimp with your fingers and crush them to break the fibers. This sound is important. These two processes are techniques to keep the shrimp straight when fried. The shrimp processing I introduced is a processional technique actually used in Japanese tempura restaurants, so be sure to master it. Fridge for 20 minutes. Chop and microwave for 1 minute. Microwaving the onions for a short time in the microwave can eliminate their pungency. Be careful not to overheat as the texture will deteriorate. Chop the pickles and parsley as well. Boil eggs in boiling water for 10 minutes. Pour in ice water and peel off the shell. Remove the yolks and place them in a bowl and chop the whiteies. Everyone loves Kewpie mayonnaise. This BGM is from Kewpie 3 Minutes Cooking, a national TV show in Japan. It is a famous song that all Japanese know. Adding a pinch of sugar to mayonnaise gives it a mild, rich taste. Let's have a taste. Very good. Use well chilled water to reduce the formation of gluten in the flour. Adding sake reduces the odor of the shrimp and allows it to be fried crispy. Be careful not to overmix after adding the flour. Apply flour evenly and remove excess flour with a brush. Add butter and panko. Spread the panko onto the surface. The video uses nama panko. You can use regular panko, but nama panko will turn out tastier. Check out the tonkatsu video for how to make nama panko. Frying time is 2 to 3 minutes. Remove from oil when panko turn brown. Do you know what's the difference between fries and tempura? Fries are dishes that are coated in panko and deep fried, and tempura are dishes that are coated with tempura butter and deep fried. It's fried to perfection. Itadakimasu! First, let's eat it as it. It's crispy! 
I will try it dipped in Pao Tao sauce. Delicious. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel.